Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. That's right, we're coming at you Easter Tuesday. It's April 16th, Tuesday of the Easter week. Ozzy got uh, smoked would be an exaggeration, but Ozzy got um, hit a little bit with those uh, RBA minutes. I tell you what. Uh, I said it yesterday on Twitter, I'll just say it again here. Uh, the central banks around the world are far more dovish than anyone else out there. Um, and this is a little bit of a worry. Oh, it's not really a worry. I think it's a little bit of a signal um, that things are... The environment, the global economic environment out there is worse than people think. And if you're drilled down and you're close to this fire... Um, you can see it's worse than those of us who are far further away. Uh, yesterday we had the Bank of Canada surveys, very negative. Today we have these minutes uh, out of Australia, which were worrying, giving us the cases for easing. Um, not massively dovish, but definitely a dovish tilt. Kiwi's the same. Obviously, the FOMC has gone from hawkish to neutral to moderately dovish. We saw Draghi last week. Draghi the dove. Um, he was also worried and dovish. So, this is something to keep in mind. Uh, short Aussie obviously paid, but didn't pay a lot, right? I mean, you're short up. In the 70s, it's now 47. So we're still in this low vol metric. Uh, if you are short, there's two schools here. Uh, you know, take some off, try and resell. But because we're so close to the 200 day and it looks like we've rejected it, uh, we're just going to sit short uh, and see if this will grind lower. Obviously, um, the next sort of moment of risk will be so, sort of 71, 17. So you have the big green, the big red, the big green, which is basically all neutralizing each other. So, as soon as we get below these three bars here, uh, it could become more interesting. Um, but don't worry if you're not short. You're really going to get paid in Aussie only through 70, 50, and 70 cents. So... You can just wait. You know, it's it's definitely not a super strong bearish call up here. Uh, it's more like a bored bearish call. So, but if you are bearish, uh, or if you're just looking um, for the destructive price below 70.50, there'll be some problems, and below 70, they will be a catastrophe of problems. As far as uh, in, in releases today, economic releases today, we've got Zoo, which is not really that important. We got um, CPI tonight out of New Zealand. That actually is very important. So let's keep an eye on that, but that's a long ways away. So we have average hourly earnings out of the UK this morning. We've got Zoo out of uh, Germany, and then we've got industrial production out of the US. Pretty uh, second tier stuff. Let's have a look at some of the other currencies. If this were a period where more volume was going through and people cared, this would be an interesting bar yesterday's daily bar in Euro. But because it's so quiet, the technicals are become much less meaningful. So we can't really take it seriously. I would say this is a turn bar in Euro if the conditions were different. Because their conditions are so crappy right now, you just have to ignore it, so we have no idea what's happening in Euro. I can tell you that the the base case for Euro higher uh, through 113.50, uh, and then to attack this trend line up here, 113.90, uh, with the baseline that the market is short, this is now a very pervasive view. Uh, a lot of people are saying, well, the euro had time to go down, the euro didn't go down, or didn't stay down after Draghi. Um, so I would just be careful. I, mean, I don't 
I don't have a strong view in the euro. I'm basically going to wait for 111.70. This will be the top of the uh, DXY. That'll be basically 97.70. Um, this will be a moment to make money. Here is basically the middle of the road. But I'm just saying don't marry anything here. Could go higher, could go lower. The case for either is looks very equal. Dollar Swiss, on the other hand, looks to me like it wants to go higher. Again, I have no idea why. But you do have sort of a platform here. We have 10050, which is now a triple top. Looks like a trap break, and you can't really get paid break trading Dollar Swiss on the top side, so I don't really recommend that. Um, but this looks like it wants to reach up now and grind higher. The big, big surprise move we talked about this is dollar Swiss through these levels. Um, so 101.30, and then even more importantly, 103.50. Uh, I bring this up because uh, I obviously I live in Switzerland, and I can tell you people here are incredibly complacent. Normally at one, everyone's you know for the last 10 years everyone's like okay we've got a hedge you've got to sell um, and there's a lot of talk about dollar Swiss uh, I can tell you right now there's very little talk there's very little interest and in this I don't know I just get the feeling this could surprise some people on the top side again I'm not saying get your strap your boots on today uh, looks like another boring day ahead of us, but definitely dollar strength looks on the cards today. Cable, same thing. Should be some risk now below one, one thirty fifty. Um, not doing a whole hell of a lot, but it has sort of turned. Dollar rand also sort of turned. Dollar yen not so much, but it does look like. Um, this wants to go higher. We had some dovish stuff from Kuroda. I don't know why dollar yen would want to go higher. Maybe if stocks keep creeping up towards this uh, magical all-time highs, dollar yen will go higher. Or maybe just a dollar bid will cause this to go higher. This is a nice technical level, 112.15. Again, technical levels are useless right now because nobody is trading. Uh, but something to keep in mind if we get a little bit of action. I'll just check up the Aussie chart. We've seen that actually already. And Kiwi. Kiwi didn't do a lot actually. Aussie down. So Aussie Kiwi must be lower. We don't really care. And then Aussie Yen. This looks like a turn also. Um, a very low no interest day now we're well back below the 200 day you could tell it was fighting here this is the hourly it's down to the figure back up to 30 down to the figure these two hourly bars show you the fight these are the bears and the guys getting short these are the bulls saying fuck off we're gonna go back higher and then these are the bears saying no I think we're actually going lower. It'll be very telling the daily close today in Aussie Yen. Um, again, it's one of these positions that we're just hearing a lot about people being long. Um, long Yen crosses in general. And I don't understand. I mean, I do understand this. This bar is a, is a great bar to get long Aussie Yen. Um, but got to be careful. I think uh, I think risk is on on life support. Of course, that could mean one week, two week. It could, could mean a month for it to turn. It could be also mean tomorrow. Uh, we'll see. Dollar CAD. Obviously, the survey numbers yesterday were terrible. This looks like it also wants to make further gains. Um, so you can see today we have a bias uh, to buy dollars. We're gonna sell high ones in Aussie and we are going to we're going to watch this dollar yen up there at 112.15 uh, and treat that as like a very slow moving casual break trade um, very tight parameters 
otherwise we won't be doing much this is not a day to get stuck in and and rip somebody's face off this is a day to digest and wash and uh, just manage your risk quickly to ES uh, not quite a new high we still can't th get through 2915 yesterday we were looking to sell high ones uh, around 2920 today we'll do the same we'll even ratchet that up a little bit we're going to be on the offer around 2925 between 2925 and 2930 uh, and again we are waiting for the event that will break the dam doesn't look like that event is possible today um, but always vigilant all right with that I will uh, leave you guys to have uh, a blissfully profitable day and I'll catch you tomorrow ciao